Hello everyone, on this video here we're going to be showing you how to run um, Driver, You Are the Wheelman, a game from Reflex, uh, Reflections. Uh, this is one of those games that's a hit or miss on Windows 10. It may or may not work for you. Uh, if it does work for you without the patches and DG Voodoo, uh, you still have a limit on the resolutions that you can set. So with this setup here, you'll be able to go up as high, I believe it's 4K if you want. So let's go ahead and type in DG Voodoo. We're going to need that first. Put a 2 at the end. And then we're going to go to this website here. We're going to go to Downloads, and we're going to download this version right here. Once you have that downloaded, it's as simple as just going to your Downloads folder, and we're going to extract that. Uh, usually, I like to do set up two windows, one with the files we're going to need, one with the folder uh, that has the game inside. So go ahead and uh, extract the DG Voodoo. Now, one of the things you may or may not need is the patches. If the game is working for you without the patches, you won't need them. Uh, if it's not working for you, you may want to go ahead and download these patches. So I put a link uh, to them in the uh, description window of the video. So you can go ahead and download those. So if you get on four, your downloads folder should look like this. Just go ahead and click on one, control A, highlight all of them. And you're gonna go and extract to separate folders and you should get a folder for each one. First one you're gonna go into is your uh, DG Voodoo. Copy all of those files, paste them over in the directory where the game is at. Uh, these are a little bit different. If you need them, go inside the patch folders and then take that patch, paste it to your root drive of the game. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other one. So they got one for map, one for levels. So go ahead and put those both in there and then you have the patch. For the patch, go inside the folder. Easiest way to do it, just same thing, extract files. Then you can go into that folder, highlight all those files and drag and paste it into the game. And then the game should be ready to go once you do that. So we'll go ahead and give that a shot. Before you start it, make sure you go in the MS folder, x86 folder. You're going to copy all of these. You're going to paste that in the root directory of the game, which is right here. So once you paste that, you should be able to get the game up and running. So I'm going to show you how to set it up for higher resolutions. You can set the default resolutions from here. That's the actual game config. As you can see, the highest you can go is 1600 by 1200, but we're going to surpass that with the uh, DG Voodoo. Uh, so go ahead and launch uh, DG Voodoo. For safety's sake, you might want to go ahead and, and launch the config and just uh, say, you know, save default settings just to make sure if the game needs anything from that file being started it's already inside the folder. And then once you get that done, go ahead and launch DG Voodoo. And I'll just show you my settings. I use 12 here. I like the scan line, so I always go in here and pick this one there. You can leave that default memories or memory. I always leave it at the highest. Now this part here is where you can change the resolution. So I can go as high as 4K, but I don't want to do it because when I do it, the capture software uh, shrinks the window. So I'll leave it at the resolution that I have on the desktop. So we'll do 1920 by 1080. Cool thing with this is once you pick this option here, if you do 8X and 16X right here, it's going to make the game uh, look even higher than the resolution that you picked. So you might not even need to go past 1920 by 1080. Then everything else here I leave on default. Make sure you uncheck the DG Voodoo watermark. You want to force the VSync, go ahead and click OK. We're going to launch the game and just run it for a, a minute. Make sure everything is good. So we'll show you that, you know, stock versus what it's going to look like. First time you launch it, it may take a little bit to come up. Then when it does, we'll jump into a quick mission here. So if you ever played this before, you more or less remember what it looks like. So you can see the improvement here now. So 
So this is a good thing with DigiVoodoo, the, the, that program that I showed you guys how to use. I really like that because a lot of the programs that you have problems with as far as surpassing like, uh, you know, limitations on resolutions, uh, you can a lot of times get, you know, get it to go past that resolution with this. If you have older games that won't launch at all due to the DirectX version having conflicts with the, uh, you know, the game, you can go ahead and download this and a lot of the times it will make the game work correctly for you. So with that, we're all done on this one. So uh, hopefully you guys be able to run that game if you did not uh, play it in the past or you have it and you were not able to play. Hopefully this will help you. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Go ahead, please uh, hit subscribe and we'll see you soon.